नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मिलियन डॉलर क्वेश्चन एंड रिसेंटली दिस क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन द नीट पीजी 2023 एंड यू मस्ट बी रिमेम्बरिंग द फेमस बब्लू निमोनिक दैट आई ऑलवेज गिव यू द सेम क्वेश्चन हैज कम इन द नीट पीजी 2023 अ न्यू बॉर्न चाइल्ड इज कमिंग विद द वाटरिंग एंड यू कैन सी दिस टिपिकल इमेज सो व्हाट आर द थिंग्स विजिबल टू यू इफ यू लुक हियर वी आर हैविंग द bilateral involvement is there you can see the baby also and uh, what is visible this you can see the blue sclera you can see the blue sclera also right then you can see the hazy cornea and what is this called as hazy cornea is called as the frosted glass appearance this is called as the frosted glass appearance and um, then you can also even appreciate the megalo cornea you can also appreciate the megalo cornea so we are having a baby along with the watering and uh, we are having bilateral involvement hazy cornea blue sclera megalo cornea so you are sure that this is a case of the bufthalmos always remember that uh, you mnemonic blue baby boy bablu and bilateral right so bilateral involvement blue is the sclera so if you are getting bilateral involvement with the blue sclera in a baby and in a boy along with the typical b pl card below poverty line b pl card so b for the blepharospasm typical you are going to get the blepharospasm where blepharo is a lid so we will get the lid spasm then we have p p is the photophobia and then we have l l is the lacrimation watering is there so this baby will come with the typical features of blepharospasm photophobia and lacrimation out of which lacrimation is the most most common photophobia is the earliest one right and what are the other things you are getting we are also getting the hazy cornea frosted glass appearance now how did how did i said that it is having the large size of the cornea so we can say that there is large size of the cornea if i am having something like this so if you see that normally if this is the cornea and um, this is the pupil the upper 2 mm of the cornea is actually covered by the lid okay upper lid covers 2 mm so in a normal size cornea the lower eyelid should be below the cornea and this space should be visible normally so if this space is not visible then i will say it's a megalo cornea now look here if you look here you cannot see this place therefore i can say that this is actually megalo cornea so if you know how to rule out the megalo cornea from the image this will again help you many times because many times they will give you megalo cornea in the question sometimes they will also not give you now what uh, if you look at the options here right watering say you can have the doubt of congenital dacryocystitis but dacryocystitis is not going to give you hazy cornea it will not give you blue sclera if it, it will not give you this frosted glass appearance so this is not the answer definitely congenital cataract is not the answer that will give you the leucocoria whitish pupillary reflex now why it is not megalo cornea then megalo cornea is there but it will if it is score megalo cornea it will not give you haziness it will not give you watering right so it is not megalo cornea also and you know that this bablu is having bufthalmos very very important okay